Hey guys, Jano Zero. And Mabel. And Dakota and Little Bit, the two goats. They are fitting in very nicely here. They're a very welcome addition to our homestead. And we're happy to have them and they're, they're doing well. Of course you hear the, uh, the big fat chickies right there. They're, they're fattening up nice. About another uh, week, maybe two, we'll be, uh, they'll be ready for butchering. And uh, got sun tea brewing, got strawberry plants coming up behind me. I got some more starts in the, uh, the hot box there. Ah, I got me a nice cup of holy crap, that's good coffee. Sitting out in the sun in my mid-morning break, waiting on the rain to get here. Looking to God's glory and uh, feeling like a blessed man. Uh, I wanted to just uh, meet, haven't made a couple, you know, I haven't made any videos for a couple of days and I just wanted to kind of say hi to everybody and, and just let you know that I've been really, really busy. Uh, we've been, you know, having to mow and trim and, and uh, keep the areas of our new gardens cleaned and hoed and, uh, and I'm just not going to make, uh, you know, videos of me hoeing the garden because that's pretty boring. <laughs> so. I'm not going to do it, but you know it's all a part of uh, you know the the uh, this on our own lifestyle that I'm that I'm that I'm trying to achieve. Um, yeah, it, it's freedom, and I've mentioned it before in several other videos. It's a uh, you know it's 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 freedom, and, and hard work is the price you pay. A lot of our freedoms have been bought and paid for by the you know, the uh, the blood of our uh, men and women in the military. And I truly appreciate all of our brothers and sisters who uh, who serve in the armed forces. Um, a special thank you for for your service and for uh, for the freedoms that you allow us to, to keep. Having said that, uh, Fred Hart, <laughs> it's one of his favorite sayings. Having said that, it's a uh, other freedoms also have to be uh, paid for with, you know, sweat and blood from your hands and calluses and blisters and and uh, a lot of hard work. Freedom from grocery stores and electric companies. You know, freedoms from the big corporations who would have huge, uh, you know, agricultural uh, farms and uh, big agribusiness who have, you know, special lobbyists who have rules implemented for their benefits uh, to grow unhealthy food and sell it at a higher price. Uh, the way to, you know, for me personally anyway, I'm like I said, I'm not an expert, I'm just a dude. The way that I get around those, those types of things and the way that I maintain my freedom is by doing it myself. I don't depend on huge agribusiness. I don't give them the satisfaction of, of getting much of my money. Sometimes I have to buy stuff, of course. Uh, there's a lot of things that I cannot produce on my own, and uh, I am forced to purchase those, but I try to make the best purchase that I can. But other stuff, vegetables and meat and uh, those kinds of things, I'm not going to give them the satisfaction of getting one penny from me, just because I can do it on my own and all it takes is work. Uh, and I can do that. So I'm exercising freedom by trying to be, you know, Dependent on ourselves rather than dependent on anybody else. Uh, sorry about the tarp blowing around, the wind's kicking in. Sorry about the wind if there's a whole lot of wind. But you know, I, I, I wanted to, I just wanted to reiterate the fact that you know, freedom it takes work to be free. And uh, I can remember when I was a kid, we had a lot more freedom. I often say, you know, we're old enough to remember being free, and a lot of kids nowadays don't remember what that is because there's so many new laws and rules on everything. And it isn't. Uh, it just seems like it just keeps getting uh, less and less of a free country, to where you can do what you want to do and where you can do what you need to do to get by. But uh, a couple of questions that I've been asked over the course of the last couple of days: uh, the, Is the garden where the goats are? No, the uh, the gorilla garden experiment is on the other side, up the creek, a little bit further from where the fence is, uh, so the goats can't get to it because uh, if something does sprout up and grow up there, you know, we don't want the goats to eat it. Uh, 
had a question yesterday, New Mexico Prepper, I think, um, asked me whatever happened to the Preppers Talk live show. I don't, I, Blog TV did something. Blog TV is no more. It's a you uh, now something, or I don't know what they call it, but they changed everything out. And, uh, and most of the people that were, that were on that show, um, and when I was in there occasionally with them, were, they're all, they live the same style of life that I do. And this is our really, really, really busy time of the year. So even if we did, uh, you know, we're still doing that Tuesday show, we wouldn't be a whole lot of us there at present because, you know, I don't come in until you know, after dark. And it doesn't start getting dark until, you know, almost 9 o'clock, I think, now. So we're just, you know, it's just our busy time of year. We've got baby everything, except for baby bunnies. My uh, The doe that I showed you in the video the other day, she had some complications with giving birth. She couldn't get the kits turned around and out. And uh, I did everything that I knew how to do to try to save her, but she died in, uh, while giving birth. So now I'm minus a doe rabbit. It happens. It's uh, it's nature. It happens to everything. Um, the whole birthing process uh, is a wonderful thing to see new life come into the world, but it's also a dangerous process. Uh, and when you're dealing with something small like a rabbit, it's not like you can, you know, like a calf, you can reach up and pull it out, or goats, you can reach in and pull them out. But uh, rabbits, for me, I can't. I couldn't reach in there. I couldn't do anything for it. Uh, so we lost her, and we're going to try to find a, a replacement doe or two uh, for the rabbit uh, for the barn out there with the rabbits in it um, what else what else oh do I know what breed the goats are I think uh, Dakota which is the brown weather is uh, I believe he's a boar and then a little bit which is the white female I believe she's an alpine, um, from the way that they look, and the, the, that, that's what I think. They're probably not purebreds or any of that kind of stuff, but uh, I believe that's what they have. The majority of the breed in them is is, uh, is boar and alpine. Uh, and I don't really remember any other questions off the top of my head. Uh, I apologize. I don't have a printer to print anything like that out, and uh, I forget to write them down sometimes. So if I if you have me, ask me a question and I've missed it, then uh, please just ask me again. Uh, bear with me, y'all, because like I say, we're really busy and uh, we're trying to get, you know, we'll keep our homestead going and, and improve it and add on to it. And uh, we've got almost double the garden space this year that we did last year. Um, just trying to, you know, exercise our rights and to be free people. So. And it's a, it's a good thing, you know, it's a really good feeling at the end of the, of the day to come in and have supper and know that you're having supper because, you know, you have blisters on your hands and your back is sore and your knees are sore and you've worked all day long to produce the stuff that you and your family are now enjoying. And it's a really good feeling. It's a really special feeling. And like I say, it really feels like freedom. It really feels like freedom. You know, I... It's so awesome to say, you know what, we're going to have this, this, and this for dinner tonight. So we're going to bake the bread, we're going to go out to the garden, and we're going to get the stuff that we need. Because I look at my garden like, uh, you know, like the produce section of the grocery store. Uh, I, 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 when I planted it, I thought, well, what do we need for, you know, in the garden? What do we use for ingredients? What do we use, you know, if we wanted to make vegetable soup, what do we put in the vegetable soup? What would I purchase at the produce section or at the farmer's market as far as fruits and vegetables go? And then that's what I planted. Because I don't want to waste any garden space with stuff that, you know, is just there for, you know, yeah, it's cool to have a quazillion zucchinis, but, you know, you can only can so much and you can only eat so much zucchini before you're just tired of looking at zucchinis. So that's why we put those way up the creek, and if they go crazy up there, then they're, that's great, and they're not covering the whole garden with zucchini, so... But anyway, I look at my garden as a produce section, and that's where we have our ingredients. So we have, you know, if we wanted to make, say we wanted to make, you know, vegetable rabbit soup, we could butcher rabbit, we could get the vegetables out of the garden, and make a great big pot of vegetable soup and have it for dinner, and then can what we have left over for, you know, in, in the coming winter. Uh, so anyway, that's, uh, uh, we just need to 
we need to exercise our freedoms, and if we're going to call ourselves free people, then we need to be free, and we need to act like we're free people, because uh, the more we let them hold us back, and we let we, you know, the more we allow them to hold us down and be dependent on them, the more control they're going to keep gaining over us every day. And I don't like being controlled. I don't deal well with people trying to control me. Uh, I just don't play well with people like that. So that's the reason why I don't ever go to town. I stay out here in the hills and I do my thing, and I do the very best that I can to live a free life and to show my children freedom. This is what freedom is, but it takes a lot of hard work. And a lot of the freedoms have been bought and paid for uh, by blood of soldiers and sailors and airmen who have preserved our rights uh, over the years and continue to do so and have sworn oaths to protect this country. And that is, uh, in my opinion, one of the most chivalrous acts or the highest honors that one can have is to be a soldier, um, a warrior for a free people. And uh, I really thank each and every one of you. If you watch my videos, I really thank you from the bottom of my heart. I appreciate you guys and I love you guys. I respect you and uh, may God keep you in safety at all times. So, like I said, y'all, I uh, just wanted to touch base with everybody and let you know that we're still here. Uh, we're. Uh, just, you know, busy living. <laughs> busy living. So what's that old saying? Get busy living or get busy dying? So uh, we're, we're busy living, y'all. And enjoying the days. And uh, I hope wherever you are, if you're watching this video, that your spring has begun to spring. And that you, uh, everybody can get outside and enjoy the outdoors and get some fresh air and uh, enjoy God's glory. Thank you very much for... Uh, for all your, uh, you know, your support and your encouraging comments. I, uh, a lot of times that keeps me going. My, uh, my wife has had a pretty rough couple of past days as well, uh, having seizures and stuff like that. And, uh, and when I come in and I, and I get her cleaned up and settled back down, and then I uh, go to my comment section and I see some really encouraging, inspirational comments. It lifts me up and it uh, kind of gives me a little pat on the back and uh, keeps me moving in the right direction. And I really, really appreciate that, y'all. So... Alrighty, well, we uh, are going to get back after it. Uh, thank you all for watching. I will uh, maybe sometime this coming weekend, uh, if it's not raining, uh, we'll take everybody around and do an update and show you what I've done out in the garden with uh, how I'm going to, you know, I got two foot sections of chicken wire to let my pea vines grow up into. I think it'll be easier to harvest that away, but we'll get into that in another video. So, anyway, um, you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Oh, God bless in the end. Buzz, buzz, the end.